this mysterious strategy that the top wholesalers in the country all implement. We need 10 pay-per-click leads to close one deal, average deal size to by Awesome. This simple Google campaign can increase your deal flow by five, 10, even 40 deals a month. The big, the big boys were already doing it. Yeah, I'm sure. But the, the entry guys. level wholesalers, right. no one was ballsy enough to go straight into PPC. Yeah. You were. We have a service that works. We can generate leads, we can help you follow up, we can book appointments, we can put you on the phone. For many, the promise of PPC is is reality to wasting valuable resources. Google ads are a scam. Most people that hire these types of consultants, 90% failure rate. In this video, we are uncovering stolen fees, fake review bots, and other scammy tactics that PPC agencies use to trick real estate investors into doing business with them. Starting with fake or you don't pay guarantees. You may have seen ads online that say, hey, we'll do business with you. And if you don't succeed, we'll give you your money back. Sounds like a no brainer guarantee, right? You take the risk of working with them. They don't perform as you expect and you don't pay anything until you get results. But as you may imagine, there's a lot of fine print to that. Or you don't pay. What does that specifically mean? Look, there's a couple of different variations. So, um, or you don't pay could very well mean that they will refund you their fees. And that's usually, they'll have a long list of conditions that you need to meet, a certain follow-up criteria for leads, um, certain amount of times you have to contact them. Basically, a long list of conditions that you must meet in order to be eligible to get a refund. It's very rare that someone actually qualifies for that. Um, what's more likely is that or you don't pay, and the wording is very careful there because or you don't pay doesn't mean or your money back. Or you don't pay means, hey, we'll continue working for you for free until you get results. You see, but it's not actually free because in the world of PPC, you're paying an agency fees every single month. And you're also paying for the ad spend, right? So you may be paying an agency two or $3,000 a month to do the work of generating leads for you. And maybe if you don't get results, they will waive that for you, but you still have to spend money on the ads. You still have to put out another two, three, four, five thousand $5,000 a month that you're not gonna get refunded. So if the agency doesn't do a good job, it's not risk-free at all. You're still out your ad spend and there's no way around it. And they're never gonna offer you a refund for that money. So it's a misleading representation of risk. I'll give you an example. So there's this business out there called Amplify My Business. Okay, so this is a common ad. Or you close, you close deals or you don't pay us, guaranteed. Okay, one example makes sense. Now, if you take a look at the reviews of this company, now they actually deleted their old Google My Business page, which had one-star reviews that said they lost money. They basically took their fees and ran with it and never gave them any service, never gave them anything at all. It looks like they deleted their Google My Business page. I'll see if I can find something about it. it. looks like some zero ROI, didn't give them their money back. I was given the runaround for three weeks. They charged me for another month of management fees. They told me they only refund me a portion of the management fees, though I asked them to cancel way before that. But yeah, I'm not gonna go through all this, but that's just one example. Fraudulent business, paying for done for you service. They do not provide the service. And when you request the refund, they tell you that they will refund you. They try to make it seem like they want to make it right. Um, they don't follow through. I suggest for, uh, filing for fraud. We are spending on average 10,000 advertisements and requesting a reimbursement and they didn't get any re re reimbursement back. Stole $10,000 from us. One of my own real estate investors that we currently work with, who's been with us for multiple years now, told me he tried them out and he lost tens of thousands of dollars to them, never received anything back. It's a bummer. So now this company is under a new thing, launch your leads. They tried to wipe all mention of Amplify, Amplify My Business and all the frauds. They rebranded themselves so that they could eliminate all the bad reviews out there and start from scratch again. You have to be very careful about who you're choosing to work with. And just because it says, or you don't pay, doesn't mean it's gonna be easy to get your money back. Number two. Misleading claims using data. There's a lot of confusion around PPC and a lot of fancy numbers thrown around, but a lot of it isn't what you think. So for instance, there's AI. We're using AI to improve your service. Uh, our exclusive algorithm is designed to maximize the amount of deals you're gonna get. You have to understand that oftentimes when people use the word AI, it's just a buzzword and doesn't actually mean anything. For someone to really write an algorithm, a true algorithm, they usually have to have some type of mathematics or computer science degree. And let me tell you, our agency owners 
don't have that background. We don't know how to actually write an algorithm from scratch. What we're really saying is we're using Facebook, Google, or you know Instagram or TikTok. We're using their algorithm to run your ads. The word algorithm is thrown around a lot, but really what a lot of agencies are referring to, an algorithm is just a sequence. It's steps to complete something. So if you are running an ad campaign and your leads go into a CRM, basically you can take the CRM data and feed it back into your Google Ads campaign. That is a sequence of steps, which you can technically call an algorithm, but really it's a simple CRM integration and not that complicated, but it sounds a lot fancier saying we have our own trademark exclusive algorithm. We have this concept about sharing data, that if we take all these different accounts, these different real estate investment um, Google Ads accounts, and we, and, we, and we share all the data between them, and we, let's say, feed the beast, as they say, feed the beast, and it flows into this master database, a master algorithm that then improves all of the campaigns. There's a lot more nuance to that. You see with Google Ads, not to go too technical, it's called a portfolio campaign, where you can take a portfolio of campaigns, group them together, and have them share data as if it was like one master campaign. We've tried doing this. Um, it makes sense in theory that it would work. The more data Google has, the better it performs, the better the algorithm works. But what we've noticed is that it just polarizes results. So what it really does, if you have 10 campaigns in one portfolio, it's going to make the good ones better make the bad ones worse. So you're feeding the beast, but when the beast doesn't like the taste, it's gonna spit it out. It polarizes results. So you'll see that some investors do get a lot better results using the strategy, but at the cost of other campaigns that do worse. And for us, it wasn't worth the trade-off. We're not trying to take from Bob to give to Steve, right? And then you can kind of throw Bob away. He cancels, no one ever hears from him. And then you can promote Steve as, hey, this thing works really well. So you have to be very careful about the risk. If you're choosing to go that, that route, whether for yourself or you're working with an agency who maybe shares your data with other ones, just understand that is a risk here and you may uh, end up getting worse results doing that. You'll often see different data thrown around, like we can get you a $50 cost per lead or you know, our conversion rate, our landing page is 30, 40, 50%. You know, our tools are the best. Um, we can get you amazing results. But you have to understand the only result that actually matters is ROI. Nothing else matters. And that's because all of the other data can be easily manipulated. So with Google Ads specifically, there's cost per click, how much it costs when someone clicks on your ad. There's your lead cost, there's your conversion rate. You can change strategies in your Google Ads campaign to increase your conversion rate. But when you do that, your cost per click often goes up. Your conversion rate goes up, it means the, the traffic quality is higher, your leads will be better, but the cost, the bidding cost will go significantly up. So oftentimes your conversion rate can go from eight to 25%, but your cost per lead actually stays the same, right? And I'm not saying one is better or worse or what, there's no ideal conversion rate. It's all things that you can move around and should be customized for you. At the same time, you, you can generate a $30 cost per lead. I've done it before. Um, in my own Google Ads campaigns. But again, you can you have to change your bidding strategy and you're targeting now a very wide range. The wider you target with Google Ads, the lower you can get your lead cost, but you're gonna get worse leads. So you see these agencies throw around these kind of clickbaity terms of, hey, $50 car split, uh, really high conversion rate. But all that doesn't mean anything because it can be easily manipulated. The screenshots they're showing you can be easily manipulated. Another thing is you'll see things like you know, we've generated X amount of revenue for clients, or we've spent X amount on, we spent over $10 million in Google ads, we know what we're doing. This again, does make sense and sounds great, but oftentimes it's not distributed equally. Now an agency may have one giant, let's say franchise owner who they're working with, something like Joe Homebuyer, where they have uh, different branches all across the country, and they may be spending tens of millions of dollars across their whole company. So you can say, hey, look, we're generating $100 million in revenue, but it could be $70 million or $80 million in revenue. 80% of that could just be from one company. So quantity of ad spend, quantity of revenue generated doesn't necessarily equate to quality. It can, but you have to dig a little deeper to understand where these numbers are coming from. And if they are working with, let's say, a huge guru or huge franchise who may be in your market as well and whose data they're using to promote themselves, as their like main case study, who are they gonna give priority to when they're running your campaign and their campaign? Let me share some data with you. I've talked to multiple agencies in the real estate investment space and the average client turnover is about six months. But you have to ask yourself why that is. If all these money back guarantees and all these great you know, algorithms that are supposed to give you a leg up competitive advantage, why is there such high turnover in these agencies? Don't focus on what people say, focus on what they're leaving out. 
With all these data claims and, you know, claims about algorithms and machine learning, I would like to see some type of professional white paper that goes over their exact strategy or at least goes over in detail backing up claims such as 35% higher lead quality. Well, where does that 35% number come from exactly? Because I did some research um, as well. So if you're looking at, again, a specific algorithm, which may just be, hey, we're using Google and adding a few steps into it to improve, let's say, conversion uh, modeling here. You can look at this information. Again, you're promoting machine learning, which is really just Google. And you're saying you have a specific algorithm, which may just be sending some conversions back into Google. It's kind of basically what Google does. It's not as difficult as you may think. So you can see here, businesses that deploy this machine learning technology boost their campaign performance by 35%. Is this the same 35% that's promoted on this website? I don't know. The point is, maybe it's not, I really don't know, but you need to dig a little deeper and ask harder questions about where this data is actually coming from. So again, you need to ask yourself, why are clients canceling every six months? What's really going on behind the scenes of these agencies? Usually why clients quit or fail, it's not because of the PPC campaign itself, it's other intangibles such as they have false expectations based on misleading marketing that is shown to them. Um, they don't have a good sales process. They sabotage their own campaign because of trust issues from being burnt by another agency in the past, or they get shiny object syndrome and they fall for some other uh, amazing claim or guarantee out there and they keep agency hopping over and over again. They quit to go sign up with another agency with some amazing promise. And we did some research and we looked specifically for bad reviews from all the agencies in the real estate investment space. We found a few key things that people, that investors complained about. One, no transparency. They didn't share exactly what they were doing to improve the campaign. When things didn't work out, what was going on behind the scenes? They didn't explain things in a simple way that investors could understand. Investors felt like they really didn't know what was going on. They didn't get a lot of communication, which is the second biggest complaint of bad customer service. They just wouldn't get replies. Um, maybe the uh, employees of the agency were managing too many accounts at once uh, and owners felt frustrated. They're not getting what they thought they were being promised. Uh, they can't really talk to anyone who can help them with their problems. By far the most common complaints. And you may, be, you may be thinking, okay, well, what really matters is results, right? But results is not so black and white because it takes work from the investor as well in order to be successful. My goal is to have more transparency in our industry, right? Because who can you trust? How do you know who you should actually, actually work with? Because everything you're seeing online sounds great, but when you dig deep into it, maybe it's not as good as it seems. That's why I've released a free course that goes over everything that our agency does step-by-step. Step. We don't leave anything out, our exact templates, our campaigns, our processes, our ads, our, our strategy, our, how we go about bidding and budgeting. Everything is completely free and transparent so that you can see exactly what we do. You can go do it yourself if you want, or if you don't want to learn it, then we can run it for you. But you know exactly what you're getting into, and we're very realistic about your results. And it's going to take work from you as well. But this leads us to scam tactic number three, misleading and fake reviews. See, it, it wasn't easy for our team to go find these reviews, you really have to dig deeper into it. There are companies out there um, that will actually, that is a review service that will gather reviews uh, on your behalf, but will only post reviews that are four and five stars, or even just five stars. And if you get a one or two star review, it gets deleted. Now, I'm gonna show you a thread here. I like to go on Reddit to find things. This is one of the largest uh, PPC agencies in our space. A lot of times people will post in forums and on Reddit saying, hey, have you used this agency? What is the results like? Are they, or do they work? Can I trust them? I um, mean, here's one for Bateman Collective, one of the largest agencies in our space. Um, has anyone used their services? The top comment here is late to the party, but we work with them for a couple years now. We've loved it. We've tried a bunch of other of our competitors and these people are the best hands down. But if you look at the account, this account was created a couple months ago and is the only thing that this Reddit account has ever commented on, has never made a post at all. So it seems like this account was created just to comment on that specific thread. Now, is it an employee? 
Is it a bot? Is it someone who just loves Bateman Collective? I don't know, but you can't even trust forums and social media threads anymore. Also, you'll see a lot of reviews. A common tactic is to have an overwhelming amount of reviews, but you'll notice that a lot of these reviews are very short term of like, hey, I just signed up with this agency and I got a deal in 30 days, or I got a couple deals in the first 30, 60, 90 days. And then you never hear from them again. Why is that? Again, because agency churn, people will burn out, they will quit, they'll get a review from a, cl a client, then the client will quit a couple months later, but they still have that review that they can reuse over and over and over again. That's why what you wanna do is look for long-term case studies at least one year, at least six months, ideally a year, two, three years. Investors who have been working with the same company for multiple years in a row, then you know it's long-term success versus someone who got a deal right away and then the agency fell off a cliff. And if you wanna beat the average agency success rate, and you don't wanna be one of those investors who complains about their agency four months in, you need to watch this next video.